Do you guys want to actually introduce yourselves? Say your names sure. real quick. I'm Hayden. I'm Lance. Okay, and they're gonna they're gonna be your presenters today, and it's just something that we need to say to all groups. Hopefully, they've been saying it in each session you've been in. It says, as an appropriate audience member, you're reminded to be polite, respectful, and try not to interrupt the, the speaker. But you can raise your hand anytime, and if they have time for questions, they'll answer them for you. Does that sound good? Okay. Um, then I hope you enjoy learning something new from your 2016 set presenters. Woohoo! <laughs> side of the speaker and it only has one plug for it so it shouldn't be that hard to put it in. Grab the yellow <coughs> HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI spot on your TV. Now we're going to add Wi-Fi. Plug the green dongle into the USB port. Flip the keyboard upside down and there is a white USB. Take that white USB out and plug the white USB into your computer. Grab the red pieces. The small end gets connected to your computer and the, red, and the big red piece gets plugged into the power outlet. We have an extension cord because um, our, our outlet is far away from the, from the TV and the piano, so we bought this extension cord. Now the piano will come to life, and your display will magically turn on. Step two of how to how to present <coughs> the piano. Once your piano is plugged in, you will you will see your computer thinking. If you walk through the steps to set up sound and what, here's how you can set up sound and that's how you can set up Wi-Fi. Now, next you create your profile and your character. You can join Candle World where you can get other cool apps and code with other people. Here's where you sign in and here's your profile screen. Now you're ready to start using apps, coding, and having fun. These are the apps that come with the candle. You can download more, and this is just one of them, and that's called Make a Snake. Okay, 
give us just a second because now you've seen how to set up. They've showed you how you set up the computer. So we, now we actually have to switch over to the Cano. So I have to switch plugs here. So bear with us just a second. <coughs> Our people who have, it, have, ne have never heard of Scratch, I will tell you what Scratch is about. Scratch is a game that lets you use the blocks to create programming language. You can program the characters called sprites to do different actions. So this is one of the sprites. This is the sprite you come with. It's pretty much, this is the logo of the entire thing. And so if you, this is how you, so when you first start, if you want to have him walk, you go and you can make him walk by doing with this simple command. And if you want to make him do more advanced commands, like this one, to make him jump, you have to go So this is the outline of the thing. And this is how it looks when you, before you put in the rest of the blocks. So this is how you make him do a backflip. And then you put this. So if you don't want to do it forever, you just go. It's not really that, um, it's not really meant for him to do this type of thing, but it's, it's possible to do it for a long time. And the motion one is how he, um, these are the categories that you can do. The motion one is for how he walks or how he does certain movements. The controls is how it begins or it affects the character. The looks is how he thinks or talks. And the sensing, it's this one is, you think this one should go in here because it's him talking. But instead, this one is actually, you know, do this. So if you go one click, he asks you what's your name, and you type in the name. <coughs> and then you would accept that. Those, the sound is, <coughs> operations is how he, how he picks whatever he wants to go. Like for this one, if I say, um, for M, if I go glide, If I get this number wrong, I'm going to name a goldfish. And then, because you went up to the top corner, you have to pick the bottom one. So it would be 234 minus 166. This is what he would do. He would glide anywhere where it, it picks random. So if I go like zero seconds, you go that. And if I go to motions, I can make him bump me out. I can make him turn. Switch off. Okay, now it's turning. What the beep is that thing doing? Good job with just a computer. 
Someone raise your hand and tell me which one you want me to do. Green, blue, black. You. Um, ghost SD. So then I would go to. All I'm pressing the arrow keys. And this guy is running around while I try to get him. I'm trying to touch him. Like that. Now I'm going to switch over to Minecraft. Ooh, Minecraft. Lance, before you guys show Minecraft, Tell them, remember, we were going to explain why this is better than just going on the computer and playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Is this? Um. Sorry. Okay. So, um, Make Minecraft, there's something called Make Minecraft that comes with the piano. Make Minecraft is better, in my opinion, than normal Minecraft because you can code all this cool <coughs> stuff and it gives you a tutorial how to make the cool stuff. But um, if you want, you can just go and go on to the playground <coughs> mode and you can play and you can do whatever you want. Um, first, we're going to show you two codes to hack Minecraft. The first code we'll show you is called Lava Trick. Lava. Lava. Okay, so right now, um, 
we have to go to the loops and we're going to grab a repeat block and the repeat blocks, block keeps, makes things keep repeating. Now we're going to go to setters and the set block is um, a very important block. And the X, Y, and Z block is also a very important block because it shows where you're going to place the block. Then we have to grab two X, Y, and Z blocks. One we're going to set to position, one we're going to set to size, and now we have to grab lava. And now we have to choose lava from here. And here's lava. Um, now we've got to go to actions and we'll grab the sleep block. And since this is too far down, we had to move it up. And so we're going to connect the sleep block to there. And we're going to set, um, set the sleep block to three. And now when we make it, we have to they are taking us to a world. And we have lava following us. Now when we run, there's lava everywhere. Okay. Okay, now we're getting out of the house, so we can go to the next one. We can go to the next um, level, which is teleportation. But first, um, there's a button down here, and if you click that, it tells you how many levels you've done and what level you have, what, what level you are on now. So first we need to go to setters and grab a, a set player <coughs> position block. This moves your player anywhere. In Minecraft, is it... Now we have to go to numbers and grab the Z line, X, Y, and Z block and connect it to the set player position. And you have to set Y to 50 to fly up in the sky. Now you have to hit make and you'll teleport into a different place. just teleported um, from some yeah. random place. Right, let's do that again because we probably can just do it. Now we're going to make one more. The next one we're going to make is, let me just get to it. Water tube. First, we need to grab the set blocks. As I told you, it is the brain. And now we have to set, connect the X, Y, and Z to um, position and set Y to 15. Now we need to go to numbers and we need to grab another X, Y, and Z block and connect it to size. Then we need to set the width, which is X, to 15. Now we need to set the Y 
to 15, which is the height of it. Now, again, we need to set the Z to 15. <coughs> now we need to get, grab the getters blocks and connect it to type. And we need to select water so it can float. And when we're out of here, we can look up. And there's a big water cube floating above us. And it will come down on us. Very quickly. Nice shower. And there. This is the water cube. Are there any questions about Scratch or Minecraft? They can show some other things unless there's questions, specific questions people have. We'll first, we'll first do questions about Minecraft. Okay, questions about Minecraft. Uh, when you build them, um, it also has the block options, like steps. Can you just build like that, or do you have to build? Um, you could either build creatively or they could tell you what to In the playground you can build whatever you want but you put in the directions one they tell you what the to directions build. are to get you started to um, on how to code and then in the playground you can make all types of random stuff <coughs> um can you access the playground like can you actually play minecraft on it yeah yeah but this is what this is for <coughs> It's just regular Minecraft, and it's not oh. um, hacking Minecraft. But on Minecraft, you can play normally, but but it's more like it's more made for coding and stuff. Yeah, Minecraft one is made. What coding. what a version is it? This is high edition. Oh, it's not version one point eight point three. Um, yeah. Um, so for this Minecraft, you don't have to pay anything. It comes with the yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it comes, comes with right with the kit. Anyways, if it if you accidentally delete. It, you can get it for free right away, but it doesn't count for any money. Yeah. Um. Can you program in the playground mode? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is it actually co connect to the internet, or does it have its own system or something? It connects to the internet. You could play <coughs> anyone, but they have to be on the piano. Yeah. You can't go. To you can't play with computers. No, no. This one, these this all one free and they all came with all of these. All of these. Every single thing we have here came from free. So show them the ones that. Are. So the the ones that came, the ones that came with the piano screen was make snake, make art, make palm, scratch, make Minecraft, and YouTube, music, make music. Inter the internet, apps, and files. Mm -hmm. Then you can download apps. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. Ooh, that's cool. My apps are free. Um, so now do you have any questions for Scratch? No. One more kid has um, one. Yes? How did you know what numbers to put in? The... It told us. It told us the it told us numbers to put yeah. in for each um, X, Y, and Z block. Yeah. Do you have any questions for Scratch? Else? How do you like know the numbers and variables in Scratch? I just mess around. He makes them up. He, he messes around, around a lot, and then and then sometimes I just know. Like it's there's there's like I'll show you what I mean. <coughs> he practices a lot, so yeah. he knows what each will do and what numbers to put in. You know? Um, for your sprites, can you change like yes. the sprites? So here, this is where I can just make a paint a new sprite. Here's where I can take it off of the piano and out of the pianos. And here is get surprise sprites. So if I go, Oop. it would give me this guy, <laughs> this guy, and I can do it. They do do anything I can. Jonah. Um, how do you, um, how do you see what's going on? Um, here it's, so here's where I would do all the programming, 
and the screen right here would show me. What no, this like is uh, uh, for the entire cano because. <coughs> Like, I know there's a keyboard, but like, where's the screen? The, screen's, the screen is the entire backup. It's this entire thing, see? So, like, it's connected to your computer? It's connected computer. to this. It probably would be on a TV or some kind of HDMI monitor. So you have to oh! Some kind of HDMI so, you, have to you can connect to your computer. Or your you have to have an HDMI thing. <laughs> so, your TV? Your TV, if it's yeah. HDMI. If your TV is yeah. not HDMI, you have to get a converter like we have here. Oh, can you access Scratch on the right here? Yes. Yeah. That's where I practice all of this. Yes. Um, if you have a keyboard already, can you just get a Raspberry Pi do this? Or is the value of the piano get more about that? The Raspberry Pi is connected to the Raspberry Pi. It's very similar, but the Raspberry Pi is maybe a little step more advanced. But oh, okay. this is very kid friendly watching through this. Oh, stuff. because this uses Scratch and the Raspberry Pi uses Python. So yeah, because I think Scratch is more the kid friendly. So you can't do Scratch on your regular Raspberry Pi. No, you can't. You can't. You can't do it. No, not on regular Raspberry. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. The canopy is 149 95. And, for like oh, it does? and if um and also it's on your sheet, so if you want to take that home, you can get the website. Around holiday time it was a hundred. Of course oh. I missed that. But. On Amazon? Um it was on sale on cano.me. It was not oh. on sale on Amazon. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Can you buy it on the Did everybody get a handout? Oh, thank you. session. The next session starting in five minutes.